Well, ho hello, folks. This is Dre, Recovery One Drones. Glad you can join me again. As of the last, what, 48, maybe 72 hours, we have uh, <clears throat> experienced some troubling news in the uh, UAS community as far as uh, specifically dealing with uh, DJI and also uh, another support program that I use, Air Data. I posted videos, or I posted the link to the first one here, which I'll put on the screen to share real quickly. Uh, the first one. Okay, was the news about uh, DJI disabling flight records sync in the U.S. Now, bear in mind, this is only in the U.S. So if you're from Canada, don't worry about this. If you're from the UK, don't worry about this. If you're from Australia, New Zealand, anywhere across uh, the main landmass of Europe, just does not affect. I posted this information in some other uh, forms and people were like, you know, what about the UK? I said, it tells you in the article, if you read this, it only affects the United States. So don't get it too excited if you don't live in the united states okay first off so i always believe uh, there's always more than one way to skin a cat and the reason why i say that as soon as i gathered the information uh, from this source and from uh, the email i received from air data uh, i started thinking Okay, what what is the next step that we can uh, take to ensure to continue to get service that won't be interrupted? And the reason why I say that is that for myself, I am a commercial operator, Part 107, all that kind of good stuff. And <clears throat> it is essential to me to be able to keep uh, a good log of my uh, flights it's also you know for maintenance purposes especially the battery information that air data provides that is something you can't get out out of the dji uh platform under its own software i don't think Autel gives you that kind of information from their uh their software on their drones or anybody else for that much so air data can provide you with a lot of uh key information about their drones, about the maintenance of your drones, about the batteries, about the props, about the frame, airframe itself. It will give you little emails or a reminder to check this and check that uh, in between your flights. And I know for living here in Southern California, it is also key when I come to this time of year, which are going to the summer months, uh, that it informs me of uh, critical uh, heat issues that are affecting the battery usage. So it's also very important to as a reminder that while you are flying, that it will send you messages regarding the temperature range that you're operating in. So even though you may not think uh, it's all that hot, uh, you may be surprised, especially if you live in an area that has a lot of humidity, that the ambient temperature of your drone or the air itself, I should say, ambient temperature of the air that you're flying in can quickly uh, uh, aid the heat factor to rise very quickly overall. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. What I'm going to do here today is I'm going to provide you a step-by-step -step installation of <clears throat> air data onto the DJI RC Pro controller. And the same process goes if you have the original uh, smart controller. Now, with the original smart controller, covers about uh, four or five different aircraft. Uh, I want to say I believe it covers the uh, starting with the Air 2S, uh, the Mini 2, the uh, I want to say I want to go down the line of the, um, the Mavic 2 Pro series, that and the Zoom, and it goes into the Mavic uh, 2. Enterprise drones, uh, both the Zoom level Enterprise one and the old dual 
and the new Enterprise Advance and the Phantom 4 version 2 all work on the uh, original smart controller. Now, another 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 little disclaimer or anything else. If you have one of the RC in one controllers that you use a phone with or a tablet, don't be concerned because the air data, if you're using air data, that will be on the phone that you're using or the tablet or what other device that you're using to display the display your information. So you'll have air data installed on those devices. What I'm trying to tell you today is, is show you where to go and how to install air data onto the DJI original smart controller and the RC Pro. I don't personally own any of the other controllers, the RC1 or regular RC or some of the other ones. From my basic knowledge of those other controllers, especially the ones who have the built-in screen on them, I'm, I'm not aware if they are able to sideload or directly install uh, via Google or Amazon uh, to put those on th those controllers. So I don't know what you're going to do as far as with those controllers. Excuse me, but I do own the original smart controllers from a lot of my drones that I still use. And I use the RC Pro. I use the RC Pro Plus. Those are the controllers I use for the drones that I own. So we're going to go now. I'm going to go ahead and boot up the RC uh, Pro controller. Do it to you right here. Try not to. There we go. Keep the glare out. So you can see the controller there. There it is. Okay. Now, the first thing you want to do, let me go ahead and I'm going to record this on the controller so you guys can see it there. Okay, here we go. Record screen. There we go. So we're going to go back to the very opening splash screen that comes up. Okay, so you guys can see that because I'm loading this at the same time I'm continuing to talk. Oh. Uh, so we're going to do it here is we're going to go to Firefox on here. This one take you straight to Amazon. We're going to clear that and we're going to load in the address of the other air data for the app. OK. I'm also going to share this on my screen as I'm loading this so you'll be able to see exactly what I'm seeing. So let me go ahead and type this in. Okay, now I'm going to quickly share this on the large screen, just in case you guys may not see this other, other, any other way. I'm going to go ahead and share this, so you guys will see it for yourself. I'm going to point out the, uh, the address right up here, https, my colon slash forward slash twice, airdata.com forward slash ad will take you to this screen right here. Best way to recognize it when it comes up, it'll say Air Data UAV. First thing you want to look for, download Air Data Build 226. That is the most recent one. If you look over here, you will hear, you will see where it says Build 226, 2024, June 7th. That'll give you the most recent version, okay? The most recent version right there. Okay, great. Now, what's going to happen here, all you got to do is just tap on that download air data, build 226 right at the top, and it will go ahead and start downloading the information. Boom, hit the download. 
and you start getting down. Always going to make sure that you have an internet connection for your controller, for everyone in your house, off your hotspot or whatever, so you can download this onto the controller. Okay. Now it's going to ask you once it downloads, it's going to ask you to open. We're going to open the download. You'll see a little symbol right there. Air data UAV. Do you want to install this application? Yes, we do. Okay. It is currently installing. This may take all of about uh, a minute, if that. If you see it's already done on mine. App install, open. Okay. Brings you to the air data screen. Allow air data UAV to access this device locations. They only allow while using the app. That's common sense. You want to allow air data to access photos, media, and files on your device. Allow. And there you go. At this point, if you already have a air data account, you would enter your account information. Now, there's two different ways you can enter information here. You can enter in your email information to your account, or you can enter your uh, your flight key. Okay, I think your flight key is something like a seven or eight uh, number digit combination uh, code that you can enter here. And then you will put your password in place. All right. And then you hit remember me. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, type this in or switch back and forth on the screen so you guys don't get my code. Okay, it's going to ask you to accept the terms of service. And uh, like I said, if you have an existing account, if you don't, you have to create an account with Air Data. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to automatically sync your flight logs with Air Data? Smart thing you want to do is say yes. That way you don't have to do it manually every time you fly. So you have it sync, days to sync, seven days, 30 days, whatever you want to do. Uh, measurement system. This is for people in the U.S., so you want Imperial. Okay. And it says uh, save. Boom. There we go. I don't know why it's trying to tell me. There we go. Saturday, June 8th. Okay. That's my current address where I'm at right now. Yada, yada, yada. But the real issue we're looking at here is data. Okay. Now, I went out and flew a couple of solar jobs today. And on my other, other drone, matter of fact, it was with my uh, DJI uh, uh, Mavic Enterprise Advance. So I did about four solar jobs a day. And you can see here on the screen, I'll share that with you how the device automatically uh, put that information uh, into my air data system, and we were good to go. I'm going to go ahead and blow it up a little bit in case those who have, uh, like me, have to watch things through artificial lenses. And the time here, June 8th, 2024, 12, 19 p.m., drone, Flight time, three minutes. This is the home right here. Blah, blah, blah. Gives the information of uh, the drone, Mavic 2E, Advanced, Android, DJI Pod app, version 4.2.0. Okay. Right there. Other flights I did today, another house, solar job here. And I didn't have to do anything uh, with the app. I flew it like I normally would. I did not go to the DJI uh, flight record to sync my flights. I just went directly into the uh, Air Data Flight app, which is on, on your device now, and open it up. And it automatically synced it right in, because I told it to, and went from there. So this was the flights I had today. OK. So there we are. So I can say, you know, this is my little tidbit of trying to assist uh, those of us who, especially commercial pilots, and although those who are a little more serious about uh, keeping track of your flight records and maintenance needs and everything else, here's a way to do this. And like I say, if you use a uh, 
I guess it's going to be up to the controller you have. If you have one of the controllers for the mini drones that has the built-in screen, uh, you can try to test this out. I gave you the link. Uh, I'll, get, I'll put it up on the screen again. I gave you the link already to where you need to go. I'll share this right quick again. And you can try to see if that uh, link up here will... Uh, let me go ahead and just highlight that that link right there. You can go and try to see if that will go. If there is a, I don't know if there's a browser on those controllers or not, and everything. And, they, and then these are for these are for controllers that have the built-in screens. I know some of the older ones have browsers. I don't know about the mini ones or not the screen. But like I said this does work with the RC Pro. And like I can say I I guess I can double check with my RC Pro Plus to make sure it's on there. I already have it on uh, on my uh, original smart controllers. So this is the way you continue to uh, use uh, air data with your fleet. And like I say, if you're one of the ones that have one of the other controllers that don't have a screen, built-in screen, uh, you, will you don't have no issues. You will continue to be able to use whatever display device that you use, either your cell phone, tablet, whatever it may be. And long as air data is installed on that cell phone or tablet, uh, you should have no problems uh, consolidating your stuff. All you got to do is make sure that you have it set to auto, uh, auto sync for air data. And that way you don't have to go through the, uh, the sync function on, a, on the DJI app itself. Because like, like I said, I went to try today and it said it was uh, unable to sync. So that uh, DJI uh, block or disable uh, function is already in play. So this is Dre, Recovery One Drones. I hope this helps you guys, uh, whoever may look, be looking for help. And all I'm saying is that, you know, if we work together as community. And the last thing I want to say, this is not my discovery. I actually got this from another member of the community. It goes by the name of... Uh, uh, I want to say Waypoint, New England. Waypoint, New England, I believe this his name is. He the one gave me the hint because he already had installed it just out of principle for himself. And I'm like, okay, let me go and investigate some more. So, yeah. Waypoint, New England. That is the name. So I want to thank him, give him the credit that he deserves for, for using this and bringing it to my attention uh, earlier today. And I wanted to go out and, and, and test it out because he had not tested it yet himself. So I had some jobs to do, tested it out, made sure it worked as we would anticipate to work, and it does. And like I said, I'm here to show you, like I did on my controllers, that uh, we're good to go to continue to, to use air data if you're using a smart controller or, or uh, yeah, just the smart controllers, the original smart controllers or the RC Pro with the various drones that it supports. So this is Dre Recover One Drones. I always say, hang on, enjoy the ride. Please subscribe so I can continue to put this information out there and continue to, to help the community as a whole. Talk to you later, bye.